Welcome to Doing Fabulous with Christy. When people date, they usually share a common objective. They hope to win over the object of their affection. As a matchmaker, I will be giving you some tips on dating etiquette and how to bring out the best in you and your date. First thing first, show up on time. If you're running late, it is only respectful to contact your date and let them know your estimated time of arrival. Never ever stand up your date. Do not just fail to show up because you can't make it. That will be awful. Next, you need to dress appropriately. You want to show up and looking fabulous for your date, right? So that means show up with clean hair, good makeup, perfume, you want to smell good. First impression matters. Keep that in mind. And guys, the basic etiquette is that you, as a gentleman, open the door, close doors as well. Always have the lady leading her ahead of you. It shows that you're prepared to go out of your way to be courteous to her, and I'm sure she would appreciate that. And ladies, let him do the honors, but don't expect it. Either way, be gracious about it, smile or thank him if he does. This is not the time to push your liberated feminine views. Just enjoy. Proper etiquette is that girls usually precede guys in a theater, church, movies, to the table, at a restaurant, and most other places, and guys help her to be seated. So guys, remember to pull out the chair, okay? Guys, on the other hand, lead the way through crowds and traffic. You don't want your girlfriend to be hit by a car, <laughs> okay? While you guys are walking on the sidewalk. You have to learn to compliment each other. Neither one of you is perfect. There has to be something to compliment the other person about, and you have to be sincere in your compliment. Okay, look for anything. It could be her jewelry, it could be his car, you know, each other's clothes, the smile. There's always something to compliment another human being about. Do not abandon your date at the venue. That is so rude. Even if it turned out to be what you didn't expect, you should try as much as possible to be gracious to the end. After you've been seated, ask to use the bathroom. Why? Because you need to wash your hands. During the meal, don't pick your nose or blow your nose at the table. Nothing is more gross than that. I mean, one of my biggest pet peeves People who blow their nose at the table, isn't that just gross? You should also be attentive to your date. And that does not mean total exclusion of other people. If you happen to be in a group party, for example, be pleasant to your date. Talking down to your date or being patronizing is not good etiquette at all. Remember your manners. Say please, thank you, after you, you're welcome and wonderful things of that nature. Acknowledge each other's courtesies with a smile and or to simply say thank you. This is very important. You need to show a keen interest in your date. Make frequent eye contact. Guys, no matter how attractive her cleavage is, do not lair. And it'll be very rude for you to keep checking out the cute waitress that comes to the table. All right, no matter how hot she is, please, that is a major no-no. You use your date's name frequently. To that person, it is the sweetest word in any language. Never, ever pretend to be affectionate. This is cruel and deceitful and could lead to problems. The first date is a good time to inquire delicately about likes and dislikes values, expectations, interests, dreams, and aspirations. Now, as for the dinner conversation, please, I am begging you, okay? Don't talk about your ex. Yes, your ex-girlfriend, wife, significant other, booty call. We don't want to hear it. Girls don't like to hear that on the first date, at least. 
In fact, it's a big turn off. Instead, focus on your date and get to know her better. Another piece of advice, she doesn't need to know that you are meds for depression either. Moreover, no deep, dark family secrets. Seriously, no. Avoid bragging and talking too much about anything, especially yourself. Turn the conversation around to get your date's view and contribute to the conversation as well. Keep the conversation light and try to have fun together. That's what it's all about. Don't <clears throat> lie to your date either. No swearing, broadening your vocabulary if you have to, beyond a few repetitive words or explosives. No drunkenness, watch the booze. Don't be stoned before you or even during your date either. Act like a lady and act like a gentleman. You will feel better for it. If you're a smoker, ask before you smoke. Non-smokers sometimes cannot abide smoker's breath or allergic to cigarette smoke. So you have to be considerate about that. Definitely don't smoke during the meal. And stay away from fiery topics such as religion or politics. These are two subjects you don't even want to cover during a date. Guys, be prepared to pick up the tab. When the bill arrives, be a gentleman and pick up the tab. I usually encourage guys to pay for the first date because it is chivalrous. And as a matchmaker, I have talked to a lot of women who really find this a big turn on. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not that she can't buy her own food or your own food. For women, there's something romantic about that. It makes her feel like you care, like you're her knight in shiny armor. So, guys, if you pay this bill or you pick up the tab, do understand that there must be no strings attached. And ladies, please be considerate. Out of courtesy, offer to pay half or just offer to buy him a drink or something or even pay for dessert. If you do this, it shows that you're not a freeloader. In fact, it'll blow the socks right off that guy. Then girls, there can be no strings attached and you can maintain your own independence if you do choose to offer to pay part of the bill or even the bill. But the point is, I usually encourage men to pick up the tab for the first date. Remember that the objective of a date is generally to assess the potential of coming together to be a couple in a close permanent relationship. After the date, if you happen to drop her off at home, take the time to see her to her door. It's for her safety. And when you get to the door, a friendly hug in greeting or in saying goodbye, or perhaps a kiss on the cheek. Play it by ear. Do not, I repeat, gentlemen, or even ladies, do not force intimacy. If it happens, it happens. If not, it's probably too soon. Hopefully, keeping these dating etiquette in mind will help you have a marvelous time. Do share my video and subscribe.